Here's Slade, and there's the left uppercut, which was a peach from Judah. The pressure goes on, and Sue holds. This week. Judah again with a fast left. Sue looks confused. Well, Sue's struggling in the first round, but another nice as the right hook that, that time, Sue in trouble once again. Combinations, and there's the left getting through. The Sue guard. Good that he settles straight away and get power into the punches straight away. Tremendous first round. Again, Sue. Very tough. Sue away. Second round, the right hand from Sue was good. And another one! Flaws Judah. He's up very quickly, but his eyes are in orbit. It's over. Jane Judah immediately up and complains, but the fight finishes dramatically in the second round, and Kostya Tsu has unified the light welterweight division for the first time in 33 years. Fighters' instincts, they wanted to continue, but what a punch that was. To see right out of the blue, I mean, Zoo was doing nothing right up to that point, being totally outboxed, but look at the state. Judah is trying to speak to the referee, instinctively he knows what he wants to do, but the body won't answer these commands. And you can see the... It was totally gone, he could not have been oh, able to box oh, on. Oh, we've got real, oh, we've got real problems silly. here. Judah there trying to throw a punch at the referee. He is now the unified and undisputed 140-pound champion of the world, the Thunder from down under, Kostya Here in round two, we feature referees taking rather than scoring punches, and some of them even take the count. This is the infamous Bobby Franken protest that brought him a long ban from the ring. That's trainer Darkie Smith trying to calm things down, but by now the Franken temper's out of control. Mike didn't have in the first fight. <laughs> what happened here? He got bit. Huh? Huh? He's able to hold each other. Look out, he's pushed right here. A fight. Mike, when are we get that on check? Fighting Holyfield in the right right here. What a reaction. Well, and he certainly that hurts like hell, but he certainly had a better Holyfield now. A, a left hook. You know what's funny? Mike, Mike was having his best fight again. They're going in real slow motion. Mike gets in a headlock. And look at this. He just reaches in and bites him. It's it's over. It's over. During that replay. back. This is the most unbelievable spectacle I have ever seen. The first one was an amazing feat. The second one is disaster. Grant may be able to survive. Well, he left himself open, got tagged. Butler too wild, though. And there's the bell to end it. Too little, too late. Score from Melvina Lathan, 97-93. All for the winner by unanimous decision, Richard the Alien Grant. So Butler's number eight in the mild upset. A unanimous decision victory. Oh, he's against look at this. Butler. Whoa! Look at this. Butler just ran yeah, across Butler, the ring. Butler just went over there and sucker punched. Sucker punched and knocked out Grant. Oh, boy. Very, very enforceful here. You want to talk about Zab Judah and his antics losing some money in a suspension. James Butler should never be allowed in the ring again. Absolutely. Never. That's assault. That is assault. He should be arrested on the spot. He should be arrested right on the spot. That is assault and battery. Look at the blood there. From that guy has a broken jaw. I don't want to speculate here, but this is unbelievable.
Butler, ladies and gentlemen, Grant is the winner. Watch this. Butler comes across, and he's expecting a handshake. He's expecting a handshake. Butler puts his arm out to say good fight. Throw him in jail and throw away the key. Frankham appears like a choir boy when his tantrums are compared with those of a German middleweight, Pete Muller, more than 30 years earlier. In one minute of pure mayhem, Muller managed to knock out the referee and send two of his opponent's cornermen crashing out of the ring. Perhaps he knew there was a lifetime ban from boxing coming his way as he left the ring with a defiant farewell wave.